Hiya everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Christine, if you're new here, big hello. And if you are returning, then thank you so much for coming back. So today is Wednesday. Um, thank you for sticking around and being patient. I know I haven't filmed for around about 10 days. Um, yeah, my life's just been so hectic. I'm working and then when I'm not at work, I'm um, trying to go to the gym and yeah, it's just life, isn't it? So, but never mind. So I hope that you're all well and I hope that you're all having a good start to the week. Can't believe that it's Wednesday already. Um, so today's video is a home bargains haul. I do have two items to show you from b and I've also got a couple of items to show you from Lush as well. Um, so yeah, if you think that you'll enjoy watching today's video, then make sure you stick around, get yourselves a drink, and I'll get straight on with it. And as usual, there is a little button down below. I would love it if you would press that. It would really help me out, help my channel to grow, and it is free to do so. So yeah, let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I haven't been shopping for over a week because I'm trying to be a little bit careful um, with my money. And if you're anything like me, you pop in one shop, even if it's for a loaf of bread, and you kind of help yourself, you come out with two bagfuls. So um, yeah, I've been trying to be more mindful and just buy kind of things that really do need essentials especially with like obviously prices are rising, you're paying a fortune now for your groceries, for petrol, oh, for gas and electricity. Um, yeah, and with the kids breaking up on Friday, um, well, they, they are breaking up on Friday where I am in the Northeast. Um, yeah, so they're gonna be off for two weeks and we're actually going to Bonnie Scotland, which I can't wait. Don't think I've ever been away over Easter before. So we're going to a lovely caravan site in Scotland. Uh, we're going on Good Friday and we're coming back on Easter Monday. So I absolutely can't wait. So I've got lots of um, content coming. I've got a Sheen haul, hopefully next week. I did do two separate orders. One came in like two, three days and the other one I'm still waiting for. Um, but yeah, I've bought myself some new clothes because um, I just want to look a bit nicer on the evenings that I'm going to be away. So I'll be sharing all of that with you. I will be trying the items on as well because in my charity shop haul, I didn't try the items on. Um, but I did post a couple of pictures on my Instagram account. Um, I'll link my Instagram account in um, the description. And yeah, I did, I have posted a couple of pictures of me wearing the floral dress and also the uh, jumpsuit as well. So yeah, if you want to see what they look like, then head over to there. And yeah, let's get on. Okay, so I went to Home Bargains and um, I picked up a huge pack of the Fairy Washing Up Pods. So this is an extra large pack um, and you get 54 in here. This was 9.99. Um, which I think is a good price. Um, I do normally get these from like Asda and stuff when they're on offer, but um, yeah, I think this is a good price for 54. I do have to use Fairy because both of my kids have got eczema. Um, so yeah, I do have to use these. You, so Home Bargains do sell other um, brands of the pods. And I think I've seen the surf ones and they were a bit, a bit cheaper and also the bold were a bit cheaper as well. But yeah, for the fairy, they are £9.99. So I picked those up. I then picked up one of these um, Buffalo Power Performance kitchen rolls. Can it go wrong with a kitchen roll? These are really big and jumbo. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was around about £1.29. I think that these have gone up because um, I'm sure they the either were a pound or £1.19, but yeah, this one was £1.29, so I got that. And then I picked up another flash spray. I'm absolutely loving this spray. So this one is the Apple Blossom, and this was £2. 
I love this because it doesn't smell of bleach um, and you don't have to rinse you just basically spray it on and wipe it off and the job is done so yeah I noticed today actually um because I popped in there today and I actually had this in a new fragrance which was like citrus lemon or something but um, I just picked up the apple blossom because I just absolutely love the smell. So yeah, that was two pound. And then I picked up some coffee. So I've never seen this in Home Bargains before. I normally get this from Tesco or Asda. Um, and this was only £2.49, which again is a good price. Sometimes you can pay um, a lot more than that in supermarkets. So this is the Kenko Mila Ugh, Milicano, Americano, um, and yeah, this is, how much is in here? 100 grams in here, so I got that. And then I picked up some of the Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Bites. So um, these were £2.25, and um, again, if you want to pick these up in the supermarket, I'm pretty sure they're around about £3 a box. So, yeah, you're definitely saving money by going to Home Bargains to get your cereals. The kids absolutely adore these. So, you might have seen the Crave cereal um, where they're parcels and they've got chocolate inside. This is the Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Bites. So, it's like Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes, but in these bite-sized parcels, absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, so you get 375 grams in the box. My kids can go through a box in three days. Yeah, they'll have them as snacks, they'll have them for supper. So yeah, these are so yummy. And then I picked up two, bar, um, two boxes of the skinny bars. I've never had either of these ones. So these ones are the chocolate crunch, which is fruit and nut. And you get five in a box. These were 99 pence. Never seen these before. I love fruit and nut, so hopefully they will be nice. And then these ones are the peanut butter snack bars. Again, I love peanut butter. So, and I've never seen this, these ones either. Again, 99 pence, so I've got those. Um, and I'll be taking those to work just as a snack. And then, um, what else did I get? Okay, so I'll show you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the Easter stuff. Okay, so I picked up some co cookie, can it say it? Cookie cutters. <laughs> These were £1.59 um, and you get the round egg and the pink bunny. How adorable are them? Um, so it does tell you to wash them before you use them. They are hand wash only. They're not suitable for dishwasher. Um, and yeah, I'm planning on doing some shortbread with the kids. So I thought that they would be really nice for Easter. So I picked those up. And then I picked up some carrots. These were 79 pence and they're just very lightweight. Um, they feel like a bit like polyester um, so I got those for a craft that's coming up um, and then I picked up two of these adorable little Easter biscuits so I picked up a rabbit and a little chick so you can see on the back they're just a biscuit and then they've got all of the different icing um, on the front how cute are these pretty sure these were about 59 pence each bargain um, yeah so I got those and then I picked up two packets of your eggs little mini eggs so in here you get your gold you get your blue your pink your green and you get 70 grams in each packet i'm pretty sure these were i want to say 59 or 69 pence for these so i got two of those and then i got two of the milk chocolate bunnies as well so um yeah that's what they look like 
so it's just these lovely little bunnies they're all in different colors so that one's pink you've got your um blue one there um what other colors have you got that one's really cute he's got like a little striped kind of waistcoat on so yeah again i think these are 70 grams you probably get three four five six seven eight nine i think you get about nine or ten bunnies in there so yeah picked up two of those and again i'm pretty sure they were like 59 or 69 pence so I'm not sure how, what I'm doing for Easter this year because last year I did Easter baskets for the kids um, but with us being away this year I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, yeah but I thought I'll get them anyway. And then the next couple of items that I got, oh my god these are just so adorable. I seen these and I was like oh god couldn't resist even though my kids have got so many cuddly toys. How absolutely gorgeous are these? And do you know what? They're quite big and they were £3.49, which I just think is a massive bargain. Um, <laughs> they're just adorable. Yeah, so this one is the brown one. And as you can see, he's holding the carrot. It's also, he's got gorgeous floppy ears and then he's got like this little cream ribbon on the side. Absolutely gorgeous. So I picked this one up for you and my son. And then I've got a pink one for Grace. So again, um, it's holding the carrot. Just so sweet. gorgeous floppy ears and this one has got a pink kind of bow ribbon on there oh they're just you know what they're so so soft as well um yeah i just absolutely love them couldn't resist they do also have um cream sheep in there as well i think they are they are slightly cheaper um i actually bought the sheep last year for the kids so yeah, I just couldn't resist. How cute are these? So like I say, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I don't know if I am going to be doing baskets. Um, I don't know. I might just pop these in the car and take them with us for um, our holiday and then take like some treats. I'm not really sure. But yeah, oh, gorgeous for £3.49. And then the next item that I picked up, so... I told myself I wasn't gonna pick this up. I've seen it, I've seen this on loads of people's channels and I was like, no, you don't need them. And then I seen them and I was just like, oh, I can't resist. So these are the egg, um, the egg jars. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So I'll take them out of the box and show you what they look like. So you get a pack of two, I'm pretty sure you get a big one and a small one and um, like I say, I just couldn't resist. So that is the lid of the big one with the little bunnies on the top. They're not huge though these items and I think, you know, they won't take up a lot of storage space in the cupboard. Um, and I just think they're so cute and for £5.99 I just, like I say, couldn't resist and I thought I'll definitely use them and this is the kind of thing that you put away and you get out year after year. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. Okay, so this is the small one now that I'm unpacking. Oh, it is just so cute. I think as well, just checking it, I thought that it was um, smashed there, but it's not. These little eggs and bunnies that I picked up, these would be perfect to fill these little jars because you wouldn't be able to get a lot in them because they are quite small. So if I pop the lids on and show you, so that is them there. So you've got your large one and then you've got your small one. 
they're absolutely gorgeous i just love them um yeah so £5.99 for these and like i say i just love them so i thought why not and i kind of feel like i sometimes think if they're not there then i mustn't be me meant to have them and then if they are there i think yeah it's kind of telling us just get them and i know for a fact if i hadn't got them and i'd come home i would have completely regretted it and rushed out the next day to see if i could get my hands on them um, okay so i also picked up some um toilet rolls these are again from home bargains and these are the nikki supreme bath you tissue um irresistibly soft extra quilted for supreme comfort and i think these were around about uh so how many did you get in here i think yeah you so you get 12 in here pretty sure these were around about three pound 59 which isn't bad for 12 toilet rolls um yeah so pick those up the final item that i got from home bargains is this plant so um last year they had something very similar to this but they had um black pots so um yeah you, you had your plant kind of the same and i'm pretty sure they were 2 99 and i never got any so um yeah i thought i'm gonna see if i can get my hands on some um i'm not sure i've got a feeling that these might so this is the jeff banks range and I've got a feeling that this is probably intended for indoor use only, but I got it to go outside. Um, but then when I've kind of brought it home, I thought it's a bit of a shame to kind of put it outside because it might get damaged. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, decide. The next two items are the same and I got these from B&M. So it's just these cream little um, pots. And the good thing about these, they've got a hook, so you can hook this over um, your fence or anywhere, really. So, yeah, I've just had a new six-foot fence put up um, because it blew down with the storm. And I thought that I would buy a couple of these to pop over. Um, so these were £3, like I say, from B&M. And you could get these in loads of different colours. So they had mint green, they had lemon, they had grey, they had, I think they had blue. And then they had this colour. But I opted for this colour because I don't know what colour I'm going to be painting my fence yet. So I thought I'll just get the cream and then whatever colour I paint it. Because I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe like a light grey or like a sagey green. I'm not really sure. So yeah, I thought I'll get these. So really like those. And the reason I got this plant was to go in to one of these pots. So obviously the pot is a lot bigger, so I would have to fill this probably with stones, I think, because then that would help the weight down as well, stop it blowing all over the place. And then obviously I would just pop the um, pot inside and then you've got this lovely trailing plant. Oh, yeah, so then you've got this lovely trailing plant. But I only bought the one plant because I wasn't sure um, how it would look in the pot because they were from different shops. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let us know what you think. Do you think I should keep this for indoor use or do you think it looks quite nice in the pot? Let us know in the comments below. I'll just pop that on the floor. Um, and then what else have I got to show you? Okay, so I popped to Lush. So Lush um, sells a lot of like bath bombs. It also sells skincare. Um, it sells shower gels, like loads of beauty products. Um, and I popped in today. I've noticed that their prices have gone up massively. So uh, when I went, I think it was in December, I went to buy some bath bombs for a Christmas present. And I'm pretty sure the glittery ones were around about £5.50 to £6 each. 
I've seen some of them and there weren't anything, you know, spectacular. They, were, they weren't new. They were the same ones as I'd seen in December. And they were between seven and eight pound for one bath bomb. And I just thought, no, I am not paying that much for a bath bomb. Um, but I did pick up a couple of things. So my daughter wanted a, um, a lip scrub from there. Um, oh, I've just found an item as well that's in the bag. That's not from Lush, so I'll show you that as well. Yeah, so my daughter has got, um, she's addicted to the um, lip scrubs that Lush do because they're edible and they are around about £6.50. So they brought a new one out called Funfetti, which um, looks like loads of confetti in with the white scrub. Um, and yeah, I thought I would pick a couple of things up for myself. So this one is a bath bomb and it's called Follow the White Rabbit. This one was only £4 and I thought I don't mind paying £4 for a bath bomb, but I'm not paying 7 or 8 Yeah, so this is really cute. Let me show you these. So obviously it's nearly Easter and that is why I was drawn to it. So this is the little bunny bath bomb. I mean, oh, it smells incredible. They all do from Lush. Um, so it's mostly white and then it's got these lovely colours going down, your green, pink, red and yellow. And that little bit of colour will add so much colour to your bath. So I couldn't resist. I picked that one up for myself. Um, and then the next one that I got is actually a bubble bar. And this one is the Easter Bunny Bubble. Um, yeah, and this one, I do prefer um, bubble bars because they last longer. What I tend to do is you can either run it under the uh, water or you can break pieces off. I tend to just run it under the water and I seem to get like six baths or so. Sometimes more from um, these bubble bars. So get it out and show you I mean oh so this one was six pound but I didn't mind again because I know I will get so many baths from this but how adorable is he and can you see how glittery it is so you know when you run this under the water you will get loads of glitter in the bath oh it's just adorable so yeah and it's quite a good size. So yeah, I should get quite a few baths from that. So again, oh, this one smells even better than the other one. It smells absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to use those. Um, okay, and then the item that was in the packet um, is actually a luxury candle care kit. This is from Next, and um, this was in the sale. So this should have been £14, and I paid £5.50 for this. I've actually wanted one of these candle kits for so long. Um, I'll get it out and show you. I don't mind ripping the box, because I'm keeping it. Right, let's have a look. Oop, sorry. Right, okay, so in here, you've got your little scissors. So you could get this set in the um, stainless steel or in the black, but I just got the black because I thought it was just classy. So you've got your little scissors and this is your wick trimmer. I've always wanted them, I don't know why, because obviously you can just use normal scissors. But the reason I wanted it was for this little gadget and this is to pop your candle out instead of blowing it out so um i've got a terrible habit um i mean i light my candles pretty much every night and i've got a habit of just being really forceful when i blow and um the wax kind of goes everywhere it goes you know all over the windowsill it goes all over the mantelpiece everywhere so i thought this is definitely going to save all of the wax from going everywhere. So yeah, cute little kit. 
this would actually make a really nice gift for someone um you know maybe if you were making a hamper rope you could put a couple of candles in and then this little set so the next that i went to they had so many of these um so yeah if you like the look of this definitely head head to next and see if they've got any left like i say they had it in the black and the silver and i just think for five pound fifty it's a nice little set something like i say that i've wanted for a long time um yeah i also picked up um before i go i'll show you this i also picked up this um electric salt or or pepper mill this is by silver crest kitchen tools got this from little um yeah just thought i would show you it in case anybody is after a new grinder for your pepper or your salt so the what uh, mine are just wrecked i desperately needed a new set i only picked up the one because these are actually electric so what you do is it comes with six batteries you obviously you turn it you put your batteries in you put your salt or pepper in um it doesn't hold very much that if you can see that um see-through plastic is actually the holder so all of this is just kind of for show and the batteries and all of that. Um, but yeah, I thought I would give it a go because I've always wanted electric ones. And it's got a push button at the top. You literally just press it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. So I haven't actually put the batteries in yet. Um, like I say, I only picked up the one because I thought I want to see how powerful it is, how good it is. But these are £7.99, which... I think it's a really good price because I actually seen a set in Dunelm and it was 30 quid for the set. So if you bought two of these, you're talking 16 quid for the set. So yeah, thought that I would just quickly show you that. And that is it everyone. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you made it to the end, then thank you. And uh, yeah, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also um, subscribe to my channel by pressing the little button down below. And I'll see you in the next video. So take care, everyone, and thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.